Hi guys, welcome back to HS Paintings. Um, today's video is going to be a swipe. Um, I'm going to use all these colors in this painting. And I'm also going to use silicone. This one is Cell Magic. Um, and this one is by Color Pour. So, um, in here I have black which is flow acrylic I mixed this uh, acrylic paint with some flow troll and artist loft pouring medium I didn't really care about the ratio too much I was just I just poured it in put in the paint and then kind of like mixed it um, until I got the consistency that I wanted which is kind of like like this it's a little bit thicker than the dutch pores that i do oh i just saw a... oh well. i guess i'll find it <laughs> i just saw something in there there we go i got it hold on let's just get this out right now before it gets into my painting um okay sorry about that okay and now i have red right here um this one is also artist loft flow acrylic um i didn't really like how it was looking so i added a little bit of artist loft brilliant red as well so all these paints are mixed with flow troll and artist loft pouring medium i didn't put any water in it um this one is metallic orange by artist loft and in here i mixed a little bit of metallic orange by artist loft lemon yellow by artist loft and added a bit of iridescent medium by artist loft um this one is yellow which is lemon yellow by artist loft and this one is, if I can read it, Thalo Blue by Artist Loft. Okay, last but not the least, we have Turquoise Blue by Liquitex Basics. Okay, so these are all the colors that I'm using. Um, usually I try to keep record of like how much paint and how much flow troll I'm putting in but today I just wasn't in the mood and just kind of put everything together I can still see a little bit of lumps in there so just want to make sure before I start that I get rid of all those lumps I haven't painted for so long I've been busy with something else um, so last couple of weeks I actually more than a couple of weeks <laughs> I think it's been a month since I've painted and uh, all my paints were just sitting there waiting some of them mixed but they're in the uh, squeeze bottles so I'm not worried about them but I feel like um, it's taking longer to mix the paint now I don't know why maybe I'm not <laughs> used to it when I took a break uh, okay all right so what are we going to do? I have done these paintings before, a couple of them. Um, they were always a hit. People love them. I love them. So I was like, okay, I need to create one more of them. Uh, maybe a lot more, but let's see. So let's start with black. So this is the color that I'm going to swipe with. So I'm going to put most black. I want to have a line like where how much I want it to be and then I'm just going to fill it in so I didn't put any silicone in the black but I am going to put silicone in all the other paints um, I don't mix silicone and just leave it I just put it at the last minute when I'm just going to start painting I put it in at that point 
the last one I did I added it to all of them but I noticed that the black with silicone it, it I didn't like how it was showing so I had to like really go at it to clean the silicone off and uh, paint it over with black so I wouldn't see those uh, kind of spots that were showing up so I didn't really like that um, okay so I'm gonna start I'm gonna add the cell magic I'm not gonna add too too much let's see how many one two three four five one two three four five some of them are bigger than the other ones one two three four five one two three four this one is smaller so I'm not gonna put too much too four five one two three five okay so now I'm not going to mix it too much I don't want this to break up too much I just gonna like five times that's it one two three four five one two three four five so if you want your cells to be small you can mix it up really well I don't want them to be too small I want them to be bigger so I'm not mixing up too much okay all mixed up let's do the red let me just kind of make lines where I want everything to be and if I want to adjust anything I will be able to do that this one I want small I don't want to put too much of this Not too much of yellow. Okay, blue. And then this one. Um, so all of these paints are gonna go this way. So if I put the last color uh, smaller, it's just gonna go off. So I'm gonna put it a little bit more than the others. Okay, so I just gonna start adding them. Okay, I feel like I keep getting it in the black. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. Okay. I don't know how it's going to be because I have, I don't think I did it before with metallics. I have some metallics in here. So let's see how they're going to end up looking. So I was saying I'm not worried about the sides too much right now. I'm just going to get it on top. And... Then we'll see if I want to do anything with the sides or I can just paint it black in the end once it's painted. I'm not going to worry about the sides too much. Okay. I don't know about this one. We'll see. yellow I love yellow but then I'm always you know a little bit skeptical because this is transparent I wanted to add a little bit of white to it but then it was turning too light I don't have that brilliant yellow right now so I'm just gonna go with this <laughs> hopefully it will be fine I don't know in this light it kind of looks a little bit of greenish tone to it we'll see Okay, now our Thalo Blue. I love this color, so pretty. I have done painting uh, like similar to this before. I'll, paste, I'll put a link to that one too if you haven't seen it. Uh, that painting came out really pretty.
Okay. And last one. I'm thinking, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna leave any part, even though it's going to get wasted because it will be swiped over, but I don't wanna leave bare canvas. All right. Okay, got all my paints done. Let me just get these out of the way before I start swiping I'm just going to quickly force it I love that black and red together. So pretty. Alrighty. Okay, so to swipe, I'm going to use parchment paper. So this is how I do it. I just kind of take it and I fold it so I have a bit more control on it. And then I fold it a little bit on the sides too. Um, so I'm gonna start on the black and I'm gonna slowly go this way. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so you have to make sure that the, when you start, I'm gonna start in the middle of the black actually. That you have to make sure that it's actually going all the way in. You don't wanna leave any parts that are not going in, okay? And then you wanna take it slow. Wow, <laughs> you can already see the cells coming up. These are gonna get huge. Okay, the red is not coming up, so I'm gonna torch it a little bit in here, just to help it out a little bit. Don't stay at one spot for too long or you will burn it. I don't want to touch it because if I try to pick it up and tilt, this all this magic is going to disappear. So I'm just going to leave it and see what happens on this side. I can see a little bit of red coming up and those are going to get bigger. Maybe it's not happening because I didn't put any silicone in the black, which is fine. Um, I wanted to have more, one side more black anyways, but I would like to see some red in here. There is some silicone in the red, so it should start coming up. I guess it would take a little bit more time. Wow, I love what's happening in here though. Wow. So pretty. So now it's all the waiting game. <laughs> Let's wait together. I'm going to uh, let you watch this, but I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So 
you don't have to sit here and wait the cells come up slowly uh, you will see them coming up a bit faster than I can see them Okay, so the cells are gonna keep getting bigger as I put this away to dry. Uh, I'll, I'll find out in the morning, I guess, because this is night uh, when I'm painting it. Uh, I'll find out in the morning how big they're gonna get. But I love how it looks in here and I'm so happy I le left the light blue or turquoise a bit bigger because it really adds to the painting with this like kind of transition from dark to light. Um, love it i love the yellow and the orange how it's also transitioning i would have loved to see a little bit more red in here but um i think it's because i didn't put any silicon in the black uh, that kind of got buried under because it got the most black paint over it i'm gonna take a little cup just like a tiny cup and i'm gonna put a little bit of silicon in it because i know there's some red under there so i'm gonna try to get it out so I'm gonna put some silicone in the cup just a teeny bit okay so I just put that in here and I'm gonna take the back of this brush which is too big uh, okay found a smaller one so I'm going to take the back of this brush, I'm going to just dip it into the silicone and I'm going to see, it might work, might not work. Because I know I have some red under. It might bring it out. So I'm just dipping the brush in the silicone like the back of my brush and just putting it where I want to it might bring in that red it might not worth a try Even if I get a little bit of those red speckles, I'm okay with that. I just dipped it in the red paint because I already have silicone on it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to bring it down a little bit on the sides. Just make it random. <laughs> it's hard to do it random. Like, with fluid art, yeah, it will be random on its own. But if you're trying to do it yourself, then it ends up being somehow symmetrical. Okay, so I got my red in there. And now I'm just dipping it in the black. Putting it in. Okay. 
okay right on top of that black okay so this one the one that I did with the brush and this is the one that was with the swipe and it kind of similar which is good I don't want it to be like too different from the rest of the painting but it's good that it's not really attached really dense like how this one is um, these are far away but then it's how it as it progresses it becomes more dense I like that idea too okay I'm not gonna touch it too much I think now I'm happy with it I can see some red that's what I wanted to see in there yeah okay so let me know what you think about this one I hope you like it I hope you enjoy it um, please leave me any comments if you would like to see this kind of painting with some other colors um, I would love to do that um, yeah so subscribe if you haven't already like share and I'll see you in my next video bye oh I'm gonna show you a close-up of this right after this bye bye